Who are you when unbothered? When you are met with your solitude, who are you? I've always loved the calm, nostalgic settings that light my soul on fire. It feels so rich, full of potential. Every moment is. When we don't have any interference telling us life is anything other than just that. What can we create in these moments? What are the possibilities if we can stretch out those moments just a bit more? Naturally, we are gentle beings who have deep core needs that can allow us to penetrate life deeper, to fully experience every spectrum that our hearts, our inner voices are faintly calling us to experience. And what would come from these experiences Where could they take us? How would we drastically transform? Who would we become if we simply listened to the calling inside? As I'm writing these words in my journal, I'm reminding myself I don't have to know what I'm about to write or have anything figured out. That I can listen to this flow with no expectations. I can bask in these moments in between writing, sip my coffee, listen to the rain out my window, feel my heartbeat. That everything lies in this eternal moment. I don't have to be fixated. I can let go and be limitless in this moment. Those are the spectrums of life, the listening to life, the spaces in between if you can be still enough to listen. These gifts of our divine creator is dropping nuggets of gold into our crowns to those who are receptive in those spaces of between listening and surrendering we must remind ourselves we are channels reflections well of what exactly answer this truthfully amongst ourselves and we mustn't accept anything less other than divine interference. reflect the need of divine interference. Listen deeply. If you are here watching this, you are being guided to listen so that you can prioritize those needs to be able to experience your life in deeper permutations. And also remember, there is no way that this is a coincidence.